This is question number four. In part A, we're asked to simplify 4y plus 2x minus 3 plus 3x plus 8. The question carries two marks. If we start with the terms in y, we only have 4y. So I'm going to start off with 4y. If we look at the terms in x, we've got plus 2x plus 3x. That's going to give me plus 5x. If we look at the numbers or the constants, I have minus 3 plus 8. That's going to give me plus 5. So that's my final answer. 4y plus 5x plus 5. Do write your answer in the boxes or the spaces provided. I've just done mine here. In part b for two marks, we need to factorise fully 9x squared minus 6xy. If we start by looking at the highest common factor, so that's the biggest number that goes into 9 and 6, that's going to give me 3. We can see that we have x squared and x. So we can factor out one of the x's. y is not common to both of these terms, so we open up the brackets. I can think to myself, what do I need to multiply 3x to get 9x squared? Or I could say, what's 9x squared divided by 3x? I know that I need to multiply 3x by 3x to get 9x squared. I know that I need to multiply 3x by minus 2 to get minus 6xy. So we'll have now 3x multiplied by 3x minus 2y. And that's our two marks. If you're unsure, just expand it out. So 3 times 3 is going to give me 9. x times by x is going to give me x squared. 3 times by minus 2 is going to give me minus 6. x times by y is xy. So we can see that this gives us exactly what we want. So my answer is going to be 3x, and then we're going to have 3x minus 2y. You certainly wouldn't show this in your workings, but if you're unsure, you can expand the brackets just to check you've done it right. Okay, for one mark in part C, we need to expand four lots of x plus 2. Everything on the outside by the inside. So we're going to have four lots of x plus four lots of 2, which is going to give me 4x plus 8. In part D, now we're asked to expand and simplify x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 3. The question carries two marks. Lots of different ways. I simply like to do first, which is going to give me x times x, which is x squared. Then the outer, which is x multiplied by positive 3, which is going to give me plus 3x. Then the inner, which is minus 5 multiplied by x, which is minus 5x. And then finally, now the last, which is minus 5 multiplied by positive 3, which is minus 15. I'm now going to collect the like terms and tidy up. If I've got mo uh, plus 3x minus 5x, that's minus 2x. So we'll have x squared minus 2x minus 15. And that's our final answer for two marks. So all in all, seven marks for question number four.